So, did I ever tell you about my great uncle Melvin? No, I don't think you did. My great uncle Melvin was the number one vacuum cleaner salesman in the entire country. One day he goes to a house and the woman doesn't want to let him in, but he talks his way in. Okay, then what happened? Well, before she could stop him, he throws a bunch of manure on the carpet. And as you can imagine, she was very upset by this. I can see why. What did he do then? Well, he tells her, don't worry. My vacuum can pick up every drop of manure off of your carpet. In fact, I am so confident in my product that I'll give you a guarantee. <laughs> Whatever it doesn't pick up, I will eat. Wow, seems like he was pretty sure of his vacuum. Oh, he was. Until she told him that her electricity had been cut off. <laughs> 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 this year's students from your class qualify for graduation are as follows. Vincent Barbarino. All right! Juan Epstein. Arnold Horshack. And Frederick Washington. Ah, isn't that great news? That's out of sight, Mr. Collins. Give me five. Rabbi would probably never approve. You know, my father speaks very highly of you. Does he? Don't do well with the girls. Just relax, it'll, it'll all work out. Sure, work out with Vinny, you know, and Juan. They always get the girl, but me. So much. Think he needs a sure thing. You know that girl from down the hall, um, the one who I helped with the college entrance exams? You mean Christy? Yeah, so sometimes uh, guys get a little bit uh, nervous around girls, and uh, they... You don't have to be nervous around me. I see the way you look at me. I won't make you beg. I haven't seen anyone. Do not go there. You know my brother doesn't think you're good enough for me. Yeah, that was before. You graduated now. You graduated? Wow, I didn't know Mr. Carter had you planned. We had a special surprise. Oh, I tell you what. If you want me, I know I'm attractive. Want you? Took a shot, welcome home. Welcome, welcome, welcome.